Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org and today we are starting something different. This video that I'm making is going to be actually a part of our playlist which is called IT Tools. I used to have this in the old platform so we're creating this again. The reason we're making this video is because it is very easy for users then to just go to the playlist and hey you know I heard about this tool or I looked at this tool on jobsclashare.org channel so let me just go over it quickly without logging into the site it makes it a little easier now this is not a course this is just a specific tool we are sharing that can help you in your um, uh, you know IT profession many you're you gonna help this guy or either IT professional or your support any level of support that you can call yourself you know system administrator so we will just randomly pick tools so the only thing you can do is to subscribe to the channel and this is where you're going to get those new videos with the other ones that we're creating also but these uh, tools are going to be part of all of these courses so this is not going to be a specific um, you know uh, course that will have these tools the only uh, the only uh, the only way to find out these tool videos are going to be under our uh, vlog section and uh, on our YouTube channel which is going to be this one IT tools and we're going to be adding it to uh, this uh, playlist and this playlist will be shared in each and every video that we shared and that is related to IT tools so today we're sharing one IT tool with you guys and that IT tool is soft network scanner now the reason I picked this it's because it's portable it's very easy to download and you can run it at your home network first of course when you try to run this at work make sure make sure you do it in a testing environment because when you do some type, some type of scanning on your network it could be considered as an attack and if you have a security administrator or system administrator or anyone network admin they can detect these type of scanners and they can track your machine and say hey why are you scanning the network so you don't want to do that right so type soft network scanner and go ahead and click on this link softperfect.com slash download and go all the way bottom they have other free tools but we're going to stick to the network scanner and then we're going to click on product page we'll scroll all the way down and basically it tells you that what it is it scans and network and all that in our testing right now we're just going to go ahead and I will scan my home network and I'm going to go ahead and download the download network scanner portable so when I click on it I download it and it's in my download it's right here I'm going to go ahead and extract it and extract so right now it's extracting there you go I have a 64-bit system so I'm gonna go ahead and double click on it and open the network like this it's telling me that would you like to check updates yes okay sure why not so now it's portable you can put it in a USB and scan your network now the only the, there are a few things you can do with this tool first if let's say for example you have a, a set of IP addresses and you want to scan the MAC addresses and all that stuff you don't know you just want to scan it so you have it quickly from your desk you can do that so you're gonna go ahead and first find out what network are you on CMD IP config when you do CMD IP config this is your network uh, IP address for this computer but this tells you what network you're on so I'm gonna go ahead and type 192 168 to 10 I'm just gonna put 100 and then I'm gonna do 192 168 2 and then 254 anything between this will be scanned so I'm gonna add another one too just now this is another day like you probably want if you're working for a very small business they might have something like this like just one address like that to uh, on a two network but I have another network also and it's on one so I'm just gonna go ahead and one sixty eight one and that's another uh, Wi-Fi device so I don't know exactly wh where does it start so I'm just gonna put one in there and one ninety two one sixty eight and I'm gonna say one till two fifty four so when you do the scan you just click on start scanning so right now what's going on it's scanning all of my network and it's going to find 
old computer that are up right now and running even though I don't have access to it I don't have admin rights to it I will still find some information so there you go I have two machines that is just detected right now and then I have other machines that that basically these are uh, probably the um, Android right here it says Android Android iPad Android so people are using this and I know these IPs are assigned number one you find that IP address it, it couldn't do the Mac address for that but if it's a desktop you can see right here if it's a laptop um, and this is the laptop that I'm using this is another desktop that I have at my house this is another one uh, desktop so I already found that out now if you were a domain admin you could right click here and you could open the device you can RDP to it you can do computer management meaning you can get to the computer you can change the username uh, set the password whatever you want to do with it and you have all other options like this you can send a message to it you can remotely shut down you can uh, restart the machine you can wake on LAN if you have wake on LAN uh, you know set up on that machine even if it's shut down and your Ethernet is up or even if the Ethernet is down you can send a, for example wake on LAN is basically you send a signal to that Ethernet and it will wake it up and your machine will turn on itself now that could be also turned off by BIOS meaning your Ethernet could be totally shut down it will not accept any signals and that uh, you cannot do anything you just have to turn it from your BIOS so this is the tool that I wanted to share of course you would go in and kind of play around with it and see what else you can do but these are the m most important things you can do you can go to the option you can actually run a remote PowerShell which is kind of something new I really like this idea because if you have a script you can run it you can have remote files all these other things you can do remote WMI you can get into the system and find a lot of information so the reason we're sharing this is because it's portable it's very easy to download it's check it out play around with it this is what you know you probably would need it if you ever come across uh, you're a consultant or you're trying to go around and quickly you know get an IP addresses from your client and add it right here and scan the system of course you have other great tools out there but the thing is that they require setup for example Spiceworks is pretty big you need to set it up you need to do a lot of configuration before you just run that thing this is portable okay so this was our first IT tools and this is how we are going to be sharing another one and if you like this video you think this was a good idea to share this videos like this short and on the YouTube please make sure to subscribe comment and let me know if you have any tools that I should try over here thank you and see you guys in a different video